Well, good morning and happy Wednesday to you. Praise God. This is a beautiful day. Praise God. And I'm going to tell you what, we are excited about what God is doing. Listen, we know there's chaos. We know there's destruction. We know that there's evil. We know that the spirit of the Antichrist is uh, flying through the, the world right now. But our God, you know, and let's just say two words, but God. But God, hallelujah, you know, greater is he that is in us than he that's in the world, and we can stand, amen, and we will stand, and we will fight this spiritual battle and win, hallelujah. So I want to encourage you today, you know, put on a, a garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. So go ahead and praise yourself happy this morning, amen. I want to continue with living in victory during perilous times. We're living in perilous times. We know that. We understand that. The Bible is pretty clear. Um, if you read Matthew 24 and some other chapters and verses about the types of things that are going on right now in our society, we know we're living in perilous times, but we can still live in victory during those perilous times. Amen. And I've talked to you about several things before, um, some of the things that we need to do. Well, one of the things I want to do talk to you about today is getting your house in order. Now, there's three parts to this. So I'm going to, the next three um, broadcasts will be about getting your house in order, which goes along with part of living in victory during perilous times. Now, getting your house in order, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to read a couple of scripture verses to you. And then I'm just going to have through my own three little things. Maybe you've got three other things or something completely different. But I want to... Um, talk to you about, we need to have our spiritual houses in order. Amen. Here's what it says in Joshua 24, 15. And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served, which were on the other side of the river, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You got to get your house in order. And the first way to do that is you've got to decide today that not only is he savior, but Jesus is also Lord of your life. We need to choose today that we are going to serve him with all of our hearts, with all of our being, with everything that we have. And, and we've got to decide that. Choose this day whom you're going to serve. The world right now is pressuring you very, very diligently and very pressing against you very hard to get you to submit to the ways of the world and humanism and socialism and all kinds of isms. But we are going to choose to serve the Lord. Not only is he our Savior, but also our Lord. Amen? So, we, not, we need to know. So what do we do? We've got to decide. Decide today. So, in getting your house in order, the first thing I want to talk to you about is... Romans 10, 9, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised from the dead, you shall be saved. The first part of getting your house in order is believing in, the, in Jesus Christ. And I'm not talking about just acknowledging he exists. I am talking about believe. That word believe means to cleave to, follow after, and be like. And so that is where we need to start. Getting your house in order, believe. On, on the Lord Jesus Christ and salvation. Amen. So that's, the, that's what we have to do. We've got to believe. And I'm just going to, that's the first part of getting your house in order. I'm just going to stop with that today. And I'm going to move on um, over the next couple of broadcasts um, about what getting your house in order means. First, you've got to choose, decide. That is your choice. You willfully decide what you're going to do. Choose this day whom you will serve. Your answer needs to be, as for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. Not just Savior, but also Lord of our lives. And we've got to believe him. Believe in him. Confess with your mouth. If you haven't made that confession of faith, you know, you may have said, well, I've gone to church and, and I've been to church for years and, and, you know, I know all about Jesus. But have you confessed Jesus Christ? Have you asked him to come into your life? Be your Lord and be your Savior. Have you confessed him with your mouth that he is Lord? Have you repented? 
If you haven't, that's something you need to do. It says right there that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, it said that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. So get in our house in order. Choose this day whom you're going to serve and then believe in Jesus Christ. So I want to pray with you. If you haven't said that prayer, maybe you're not where you're supposed to be the Lord. I just want to pray with you right now. Dear Jesus, and all you got to do is repeat after me. I ask you to come into my life to be my Savior and my Lord. I choose you today, Jesus. I confess with my mouth that Jesus died on a cross for my sins. He rose the third day and he's at the right hand of the Father interceding for me right now. And we thank you, Lord, that you, the Holy Spirit, now moves into my life. Take control of my life. I give you my life now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, if you confess that, then you are now in the kingdom of God. You are a believer. And that is the first step, getting that house in order, is being a believer. And if you're already a believer, we've got some other things to talk about later. But choose this day. And you know, every day we have to choose who we're going to serve. Are you going to serve that depression? Are you going to serve that anxiety? Are you going to serve that frustration? Or are you going to serve what the Word of God says, that I am free, I am whole, I've got the mind of Christ, and I am delivered. Amen? Hey, I pray that this encouraged you today. Choose this day whom you'll serve. And again, this is a way that we are going to live in victory during these perilous times. Amen? God bless you. Be encouraged today. We'll see you next time. Have a blessed day. And remember, continue to walk in faith over fear.